with us this morning three people who work at Garden Ridge. We have Holly Barrero, Georgette Gibbonis, and Tammy Wimpish. And uh, I'm going to start with Holly. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to introduce Georgette Gimbis, who is our Director of Nursing at Garden Ridge. She's been with Garden Ridge almost 13 years. Wow. Started off as a charge nurse and then was um, a, a unit manager and then went into the Assistant Director of Nursing and for the last year has been our Director of Nursing. So very excited to have her here very with me good. today. I'm glad yes. you're with us, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I'm glad Thank you can you. break away long enough to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And Georgette's going to introduce our next guest. Okay. Yes. So with us today, um, my name is Georgian Gimbus, as Holly clearly said, the Director of Nursing in Garden Ridge, um, having worked for uh, Green Spring going on 13 years. Um, my passion is what drives me here um, and the residents we care for. So with me here today, I'm here to introduce Tammy Winbush, the Assistant Director of Nursing. Mm -hmm. You're working with you. Yes. So thank yes. you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tammy Wimbush, the Assistant Director of Nursing. Um, I've been a nurse for about 27 years. Mm -hmm. I've worked in various roles. I love geriatrics. Geriatrics is my passion, and I'm very happy to be a new member of the team at Garden Ridge. That's great. That's great. <clears throat> Where did you get your training? I went to school <coughs> at... Um, been so long ago. <laughs> Guilford Tech Community College in Jamestown, North Carolina. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's where I, I got my degree from. Where were you before you came here? Before I came here, I was at Envoy of Woodbridge in Woodbridge, Virginia. Mm -hmm. That is a skilled and rehab center, 120 mm -hmm. bed unit. Mm -hmm. I was there for two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, welcome aboard. We're Thank glad you to have so you here. Much. How long have you been here? I've been here a month. A month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A month mm -hmm. and two days. Uh -huh. <laughs> Gotten lost yet? Yes, quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit. That's usually the first thing. It, the place is so big and so the halls all look alike. But so. it's beautiful. It is. It's breathtakingly mm -hmm. beautiful. It is. Yes, it is. It is. It is. So what's going on at Garden Ridge? So we have um, initiative, two initiatives currently, we're currently working at in Garden Ridge. One of it is the Interact. The Interact is um, a new initiative where it's an intervention to reduce acute care transfer. Um, the main goal, it's a, it's a quality improvement tool to identify acute changes in resident condition, mm -hmm. thereby um, implementing interventions and taking care of the residents to reduce uh, hospital transfers within 30 days of their discharge from the hospital. Mm -hmm. So how does this work? It is an interdisciplinary, all members of the team, including housekeeping, therapy, dining, mm -hmm. and nursing as well, and even guess who identify changes in, in their loved one while visiting to notify the nurse. Mm -hmm. That information gets communicated to the nurse who comes and does an assessment and communicates that assessment to the physician who will now give orders on how to care for that resident. Mm -hmm. The whole goal is to reduce the trauma mm -hmm. that residents do usually will encounter with that hospital transfer mm -hmm. and other complications that might develop while they are in the hospital. So going from the hospital to Garden Ridge. Yes. Yes. Is that, that transition period yes. there. Yes. I can imagine that would be pretty mm -hmm. traumatic to some people. Yes. To try to figure out exactly where am I and how am I going to get back home and what's going to happen to me and yes. Yes. I have luckily never been in that situation, but uh, I can imagine it would be a difficult time when you're pretty helpless really mm -hmm. yes and you just don't quite know what's going on yes right. so it's a new initiative that is being adopted across the United States by nursing homes mm -hmm. um, to adopt strategies it's it's a tool we including in that it's a tool that we use several tools stop and watch um, as bar is just an assessment tool mm -hmm. that comes along with it that way we can 
identify and treat the resident on site in Garden mm -hmm. Ridge and prevent that transfer to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So in other words, it would keep them from going back to the hospital right. yes, with, them, with something that's just a temporary blip in the road. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And it's very exciting because it's not only for nursing, it's all departments yes. because, as we know, um, all departments um, interact and engage with the residents, right. so have relationships with the residents, and certainly it could be a housekeeper that notices they certainly. change certainly. with a resident status, mm -hmm. and the, then the housekeeper then could report that immediately to mm -hmm. the charge nurse who then mm -hmm. could proceed with doing her assessment mm -hmm. or his assessment. Mm -hmm. I could see where that could also help someone who's in housekeeping feel more part of a team. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rather than just saying, well, I'm in here to empty the bedpan mm -hmm. and take away the dirty dishes, you know, I can act also do my part for checking mm -hmm. on the patient. Yeah. And as in, you know, most of our staff will say, all, usually all of our staff will say, it's not only about just a job I do, it's mm -hmm. the residents yeah. and the relationship that I establish with the residents. So, right. Mm -hmm. um, it is key that it's an interdisciplinary mm -hmm. approach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I think it would, it would also relieve that feeling of frustration that I hear some people say when they've returned home from Garden Ridge, that they felt they weren't really being taken care of, that they've just people kept popped in and out, you know. And I, sometimes I look at these people and I think, well, how much did you interact with them? You know, how much did you let them know? how you were feeling. Right. And I think, you know, too, when you're not feeling well, certainly, you right. know, you, um, you definitely want the attention. And so there's lots of, there are lots of individuals that are on the team, staff members right. that make up that team. Right. So it right. may feel like there's a lot of different um, disciplines um, interacting right. and engaging with the residents to provide the care. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I think with that, it creates a more enhanced um, engagement with the resident mm -hmm. because it's not only nursing right. that engages with the resident. Mm -hmm. We have housekeeping staff that come in. We have programming. We have dining service who mm -hmm. serve the residents Certainly. in the dining room mm -hmm. and they do no changes in their resident because day after day, they do care for the resident as mm -hmm. well. So it's more cohesive way of caring for the resident. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they Very can tell whether they're right. Mm -hmm. not eating properly or or just mm -hmm. combative at the dinner table as I've heard a couple of times. <laughs> it allows us to be more proactive. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. To, yeah, to, to have, have more mm -hmm. eyes and ears exactly. on, the, on the patient. Right. Mm -hmm. So what else? Um, secondly, we have Omnicell. So I know we've had feedback from Resident Satisfaction Survey um, about uh, transfer to Garden Reach when they're newly admitted. So we have been working with our pharmacy vendor to say, since we don't have a pharmacy in-house, what could you do to enhance our medication supply? That way we have a wider variety of medications that we could administer to the resident based on their needs. Mm -hmm. So our vendor has worked with us and um, we are excited to say we have an Omnicell, which is an automated dispensing machine mm -hmm. that has a capacity of about 200 to 300 medications, mm -hmm. different medications, mm -hmm. and up to about 24 control medications could be stored in that machine. Mm -hmm. However, though the medications are there, we will still follow the appropriate route of having a valid prescription right. that will be faxed still to the pharmacy and once it's entered under the resident's profile, then the pharmacy gives us authorization to access the medication. Mm -hmm. So that we believe is really gonna enhance caring for the residents as well as customer service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has there been a problem with getting the medications that patients have felt they needed? Not, um, frequ not frequently we've had problems, but the idea of in the hospital, they're coming from the hospital mm -hmm. where the medication is there. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to see if we could replicate something similar where we have oh. medication on site. Mm -hmm. So that the patient doesn't have to furnish it themselves. Yes. Right. And there's no time lapse, no time right. lapse. of waiting mm -hmm. for the pharmacy to deliver the medication. Right. It's there. 
available. Right, that sounds good. That's great. That sounds right. good. When, when a resident is being admitted, we always fax the medications over, but then the medications have to still be delivered. Sure. Right. right. So we and want to make sure be, that the medications uh, few, are there. A few time. hours mm -hmm. late sometimes. Mm -hmm. Right. And then sometimes when the resident's admitted, the physician sees the resident and may change a medication, mm -hmm. and there we would have the medication right on site mm -hmm. to be able to administer that medication until their other supply comes from the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. So, it's a great program. So as an assistant, where do you fit into all this? <laughs> I fit in because I assist the director of nursing with the everyday activities in Garden Ridge. Um, I'm a support member for the rest of the team members and um, interacting with the residents and also with the other staff members. Mm -hmm. It's a big role. Yeah. I figured I have, it was. But. Yes, I have big <laughs> shoes to step into. Yes, I do. So, okay, you were going to talk a little bit about the ambassador program because I we was. do have new residents who yes. may not know about it. Yes. So the Garden Ridge Ambassador Program, um, we we put that into play. Um, implemented that probably a little over a year ago, a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And so it was a program designed to educate residents of Greenspring more about the services that we provide at Garden Ridge. Mm -hmm. And so we, we came up with an orientation program, which included also a tour. So it was like a classroom orientation and then a tour and gave um, residents that signed up to be ambassadors and proud to say we currently have 21 Garden Wonderful. Ridge ambassadors which also includes the health service committee members mm -hmm. are part of that and they've all been through the orientation and the tour and what that does is they've been giving resources to talk about Garden Ridge just about services and individuals and staff members to collect and to co connect other residents too if they have questions about Garden Ridge. Mm -hmm. And so they have a binder with all the resources. They wear a blue ribbon mm -hmm. uh, on their badge that says Garden Ridge Ambassador. Mm -hmm. And that way if a resident in independent living has a question about Garden Ridge or the services or who could they talk to, they would be, the ambassador would be able to speak to that mm -hmm. and then connect them with staff members that could answer their questions further. Because mm -hmm. um, we know a lot of discussion happens at, around with their neighbors at dinner table. We'll be maybe talking about they knew someone that was at Garden Ridge or had you know, questions or even if they, you know, some feedback came back mm -hmm. about Garden Ridge the ambassador could connect the individual with someone that could speak to them about right. their feedback. Right. Um, so we're always looking for more ambassadors. More ambassadors. Uh, we would be glad to do another, you know, more orientation programs, including the tour. Um, we encourage it because it mm -hmm. certainly um, would assist in, you know, helping residents know about Garden Ridge. We mm -hmm. know that we're there and available to residents. Um, but it's also not, um, it's not a location that everybody wants to, you know, come to, if, but there, it's a comfort to know that it's available. And this way, if you learn and know more about what we offer, hopefully it would add it a more comfort level for residents. Uh, I've been going over to Garden Ridge more recently uh, for a couple of things, and uh, I've noticed that the, whoever I run into in the hallway is always so welcoming. You know, it's like, oh, I'm so glad somebody else is here. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I think those of us who live in, in the independent living need to keep that in mind that people in Garden Ridge may feel a little confined. And it's, mm -hmm. it's always nice to see a f fresh face around. Well, they certainly enjoy the visits, you know, mm -hmm. especially if, you know, they were once a neighbor of mm -hmm. uh, a resident independent living right. and now they live in Garden Ridge. Certainly, right. we encourage the visits. I know the residents enjoy the visits mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, they have a very, you know, healthy, active lifestyle, mm -hmm. even at Garden Ridge. Yes, um, they re do. You know, absolutely. Residents are very independent and still enjoying, um, you know, life and activities and, you know, family visits mm -hmm. and outings. Um, they just need a more supportive environment right. um, for the uh, nursing you know, staff to be able to provide. I think, I think so often people uh, forget that Garden Ridge is not just a nursing home. Mm -hmm. It no, has the not. dependent living right. or assisted, assisted living. living. 
which those people are completely free to do what they want, yeah. but they need that little assistance maybe to make sure they get their medications Additional on time support. or they mm -hmm. need some physical therapy or mm -hmm. whatever. Absolutely. And, and we have uh, short-term rehab. Right. right. And we also so, have memory uh, care. Mm -hmm. I, I think, um, I don't know whether you could do this or not, but say a person um, is in assisted living. Can you describe their typical day? So it's very individualized. It's very person-centered. So mm -hmm. um, a typical day for one resident may not be the same for another, another. resident. Mm -hmm. um, it really is based on the preferences of the resident and what that day starts out like. Um, you know, if residents' typical day is to get up early because they want to and then have breakfast, um, that's what their day would be. Someone else may say, that's not my typical day. My typical day is I like to, I like to stay in and uh, not have an early breakfast. Mm -hmm. and, um, um, so then, you know, there are um, a variety of uh, programming and activities that residents can participate in throughout the entire campus, not mm -hmm. only at Garden Ridge. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So really, they, you know, they make their day. Um, right. um, you know, we have some residents are just, you know, like to have a very um, routine, you know, rigid about their routine, and, and that's okay mm -hmm. too. But mm -hmm. others are just what, you know, what comes up or what they want to participate in, mm -hmm. they choose to. So mm -hmm. that's what's, you know, also, you know, really important to understand is, um, residents in assisted living, they have choice. They, they you know, and, and they, it's very person-centered. Right. We mm -hmm. also have assisted living residents who go and volunteer mm -hmm. at the elementary school, local oh. elementary school. Mm -hmm. so oh, they do, do they? They, they yes. go to the elementary mm -hmm. school, Yes, too. and volunteer. So mm -hmm. they, they choose yeah. their day, their activity for the mm -hmm. day, how they would like to spend their day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And just a matter so. of checking in and saying, I'm going to go there and Right. I'll be but, back. But knowing that, you know, it gives great comfort to the residents, knowing that we're there if they need us. And oh, if support. there are residents that need that extra assistance or extra support, we're there. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're there, you know, 24-7. And right. so um, I think that is just adds a great deal of comfort to residents mm -hmm. and their family members. Mm -hmm. Do you have enough, uh, uh, this is a loaded question, I know, but do you have enough assistance and uh, staff to be able to respond quickly to a, say, a nursing patient who's pulled the cord and says, I need help right now. Absolutely. Absolutely, we do have, I think mm -hmm. um, we staff above the uh, required staffing mm -hmm. ratio mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that um, is required by the Medicare uh, mm -hmm. uh, CMS. Mm -hmm. So we have ample staffing to care for the residents. What is that, that standard? Um, we have, we staff our mm -hmm. neighborhoods uh, with six nursing aides, and we have three nurses for uh, a 44 bed neighborhood. So it'd be six aides and three nurses yes. for those 44 Yes, beds. and we also have supplemental staff, mm -hmm. like we have a unit secretaries mm -hmm. on all the neighborhoods right. as well, and right. we have social workers dietitians and managers mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. Program. and programming staff are always they're mm -hmm. there also mm -hmm. so we have ample staff mm -hmm. to care for the mm -hmm. residents good because mm -hmm. I know that's one thing that people who are you know flat in bed and say I can't get up and go to the bathroom please help you know get here quickly type right. thing Right, and, and it, you know, what happens, we also do a, a, um, a very in-depth assessment of the okay. residents' needs. So, you know, the staff knows what the residents' needs are and being able to make sure that, again, their plan of care is very individualized for that, that, that resident mm -hmm. um, and so that we can make sure that we are meeting the residents' needs, needs and meeting them, you know, timely. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and, and making sure that the resident also understands, you know, what, what we provide and what our um, resources are and, and how to access them. Right. Access them. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I'm sure that there are residents that run you crazy. <laughs> no. no. Well, there's no. there are residents. <laughs> they don't. They yeah. are residents with needs, not residents who run us crazy. Oh. They have okay. needs they that, they have that need. needs yeah. to be met. So. Yeah. And they really do add value to all of our lives, really, because right. we, right. you know, we really establish relationships. Um, so, um, you know, it adds great value. But I think, you know, care for them. just 
uh, in the general population, uh, you know, there's some people who need more attention than other right. people. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and on every we level. Just, right. We make sure that you know, we have their plan of care that's right. individualized for their needs. Right. And yeah. we have ongoing yeah. assessments yes. if there are any changes so we can identify mm -hmm. those changes. Absolutely. And that's what this new initiative is, is to get those once you identify a change, yes. you, you identify that there's a change, you, then you start, that triggers an assessment to be right. done, and then interventions, interventions on how to treat that mm -hmm. resident mm -hmm. are, are being put in place. It's early intervention. Mm -hmm. so that would be marvelous if you can get everyone trained to, to really be aware of those subtle changes that, that can make such a difference. Absolutely. We have uh, most uh, all the staff trained, and there's going to be ongoing training as well, based on a review on what right. we're identifying, what trends are there. Mm -hmm. So it's initial training mm -hmm. and then ongoing training. Right. Mm -hmm. It sounds and that's wonderful. something you know we're very proud of of all the training that we provide to the mm -hmm. staff. We do mm -hmm. a tremendous amount of training um, every every year, you know, um, and just ongoing throughout mm -hmm. the year to the staff, and not only to nursing staff, but to all of the disciplines mm -hmm. on you know, different programs that we're rolling out, but also um, just refresher courses and mm -hmm. skills, um, skill sets, you know, to make sure that, you know, all of our staff are have the, you know, up-to-date knowledge right. and right. Um, education. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we still have a couple of minutes. Yeah. If you have something that you want to slip in <laughs> before the end of the show. Okay. <laughs> Anything you want to add? No. No. Yeah. Tommy, did you want to add something about maybe about something um, about yourself personally to share? Personally, about myself, I'm a master gardener. Really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you may get some phone calls. Yes, really. Yeah. Yes. What kind That's of things uh, do you like to garden? Well, I really like. I love flowers. I love flowers. My mother had a garden when uh, I was growing up. Mm -hmm. So we did a lot of uh, vegetables, and my grandmother did a lot of canning. So that's something I enjoy doing, and you know, try to go back to. That's great. Every so often. That's great. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. You know, you've seen all all the garden plots up there. You I know. Have. I have. I uh, have. They're beautiful. Someone yes. stopped me the other morning when we had the frost on the ground and said, "I hope it didn't damage my turnip greens." <laughs> <laughs> Frost can kill it, yes. Yeah. So, oh, turnip nice. greens are hard to damage, I think. So, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else, Georgia? Well, well, I just lead a fleet of, you know, managers who have a passion mm -hmm. for what they do in Garden right. Ridge, yeah. so, and they look forward to coming every day and serving mm -hmm. the what residents. What kind of hobbies do you have? Cooking. Cooking. I like yeah. cooking. I do a lot of home cooking. <laughs> What's your specialty? Um, some home cultural food, so mostly wow. Spanish related. Well, it's Spanish related. Spanish. Spanish. Spanish, Spanish. Spanish related. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that mm -hmm. sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. nice. You'll have to share some of those with our mm -hmm. chefs around here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, I found a, far a farm in Maryland that grows my cultural vegetable. Oh wow. So Very it was nice. interesting in the summer. We do go there and have it some. So. That's wonderful. Mm. That's wonderful. Yeah, we need That's to have nice. some special kind of vegetables around here sometimes. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We have a number of vegetarians who have a little trouble sometimes finding variety. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And what about you? What's your specialty? I'm definitely not a master gardener or a very good cook. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'll join you on that. Well, but I would say that I um, I love to exercise. So that's something you know in running and being outdoors. Have but, you ever uh, run any of the any uh, of the marathons? You know, I haven't gotten that far, but you know, I do regularly do run, trying to mm -hmm. gear myself up to maybe doing that soon mm -hmm. in the near future. Um, but I would say uh, my hobbies really is really spending time a lot of time with my family. I have two uh, two children that two take children? up a lot of my what time. What ages are they? Um, fifteen and one. Uh, my daughter's about to be ten. My son is fifteen. Oh, wow. So they keep me busy. Yes, mm -hmm. at that age they, they do. They do. have many activities. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, it's been good talking with yeah. you, and welcome aboard. Thank you. Yeah, and excited. I hope that we have enticed some of our residents to become a little more interested in Garden yes. Ridge. Mm -hmm. I hope so. And let's see what's going on with our announcements now.